YTPC, Aristopolis here, doing a little test on this uh, phone mount I just got. I uh, actually got this for the phone. I got a new uh, iPhone with a 64 gig capacity so that I could uh, do my videos and not have to worry so much about space. Although I think this iPad is a 64 gig. But I think because I've got so many movies and things on here, it really eats up the gigs and uh, made me think that it was a 32 gig. Anyway, police out here, keeping an eye on things. <laughs> they pass by me every night. But this is the first time they passed by me and they see see me in the driver's seat and me also hanging from the rearview mirror. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah, I think because of all the uh, movies and stuff I have on the iPad that it, it must have made me think that it was only a 32 gig. But I believe that, that this is also a 64 gig. Anyway, I, I got the phone mount for the phone so that I could uh, take videos without having to prop my iPad up behind the steering wheel, making it look like a spy cam. But to, to, to do it on the phone means I have to create a whole new intro because I can't, sw I can't tr uh, um, swap things between the iPad and the iPhone, at least not to my photos. I can, I can move stuff from the iPad to the computer but if I want to put something from the computer on the iPad, I have to download it into my videos. It won't go to my photos, and that's where I, iMovie takes everything is from my photos. As far as I know, I mean, I haven't, I mean, I don't know if I've investigated or not. Maybe I'll, I'll open up iMovie in a little bit and see if, uh, if I can change the folder where everything goes to. Because if I can do that, then I can uh, put everything in transfer everything to the computer and then transfer it back to the iPad in my videos and just pull it from there. Who knows? But now that I see that this uh, this um, uh, phone mount came with two metal brackets, one for the iPhone and one for the iPad slash GPS, I didn't know, I didn't realize it had that in it. So I put the uh, the one for the iPad on the back of this mini, and uh, I'm able to hang that up. So I may just not even mess with doing a new intro. In any event, I'd like to take a moment to wish you all a happy and safe New Year's. If uh, your 2016 was not all that it could be. I hope that uh, 2017 will see a reversal of those misfortunes and be plentiful for you. And likewise, if your 2016 was off the chart, filled with financial gains and other uh, blessings, I hope you see the same in 2017. New president takes office on January 20th. Well, we really flew through December, didn't we? I imagine January 20th will probably be here before we know it, too. Looks to be a wild ride for 2017. We'll see what happens. Hmm. Seems like I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, it must not be important. This is Aristopolis at 514 in the AM on the YouTube dial. I hope you keep an eternal ember burning, and I will see you.